Hello everyone, and welcome. My name is Dicart, and this is a quick list of the features added with the Capitalism Lab subsidiary DLC. First and foremost, they added the ability to enable or disable the DLC, so you can turn them on and off however you see fit. They also added five new scenarios, specifically for the subsidiary DLC, that you can play through to learn the game. The next thing they did was added the ability for you to set up a new subsidiary company. So all you have to do is go in here, go into financial actions, and set up a new subsidiary company. You gotta hire a CEO. And boom, subsidiary set up. So it's pretty, pretty easy. You can control all sorts of things about it. Uh, it's really well done. You can also, once you have the subsidiary set up, is you can privatize your company uh, or any company that you have public. You can also do an IPO for the subsidiary and make them go public. Okay, so now they're they're public. Okay, you can also um, set dividends. You can set up a subsidiary of the subsidiary. So there's a lot to it. Okay. Um, Next thing is you can merge. If you go into the stock exchange and choose one company and look at the other company, as long as you control, let's see, this one and this subsidiary, as long as you control enough, you can merge them. So we merge two companies together. Yay. They also added the ability for stores, retail stores, to have up to three levels. So you can have a level here and you can add a new level and set up a new layout in this one. So very, very helpful for that. You can also do product customization. So let's go into manufacturer's guide. And for me, I customize the desktop computer. So instead of having one desktop computer, I can now pr provide my own images to the game and decide what technology level they will unlock and what to call them. And now I can have multiple different versions of a desktop computer in my case, but you can use any product and do as many versions of them as you want, I believe. And uh, the last thing would be research and development. Now in the research development, there will be, if you have a, someone hired, there will be product research and development as usual, but you will also have a radical research and development, which will potentially increase the amount of research you're going to get in a shorter amount of time, but also you run the risk of not gaining any research at all. So that's just a quick list of some of the things that have been added with the subsidiary DLC. I hope you enjoy the DLC and I hope you enjoy the game. Thank you for joining me. Take care, everyone.